Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to a very exciting day, Grandmaster Bridge, one of our uh, guest Sunday seminars. And we've got a great uh, friend of ours, uh, 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 Peter Goodman, who's one of these incredible, has an incredible uh, bridge record. He's, he's played at a junior level and senior level for Wales for many years. And then he came over to Ireland and met the wonderful Aoife McHale and ended up marrying her and uh, has played for Ireland now and Leinster and uh, is not only a grandmaster, but a triple grandmaster. Think how many points you need to be a triple grandmaster. And I think at the time of going to press, I think he's our only triple grandmaster. Peter Goodman, you're very welcome. Thanks, Rory. Welcome, everyone. Um, okay. We'll have some fun today. Oh, well, uh, do, no, when, when you're around, we know you're going to have fun. Thomas, how are you? Very well, very well, Rory. Looking forward to this as well. Looking oh, forward well, to this as well. You're the one who's going to challenge him. So uh, you've got to do uh, the big business here. So I'm going to share the screen there. Is that the correct screen? Now? Yes, it is. And uh, you can see here we've started with a few hands that we're going to give Peter. And we want, Peter, if you wouldn't mind just giving us your take on every step on the not only the play, but the uh, the bidding as well. And give me give us what you're thinking so that we can uh, we can learn from you. I think that's really the best way of going about this. Uh, so thank you so much for doing this. And uh, I'll, I'll let Thomas and Peter take it away from there. Rory, can I just check uh, that? Can everybody only see Peter's hand or can you see 52 cards? Four cards. 52, 52 cards. Can you? Can you, can you, can you thanks, Rory. Now, why is that? Can you now, Rory? I can see your screen so I can tell you. Click on it again for me. Uh, table options, yeah, teaching options, te teaching options. Sorry, sorry yeah, teaching. Yeah, options. I've looked at teaching options just, just to, for a second. Yeah, now click off host, show all hands. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, thank you. Now click on south. We've no Jason, he's in America, lads, and press OK. Now, that work. Does... No. Uh, guys, uh, can you see all hands? Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. okay. Maybe if I go in and out of it again and set it up. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just press teaching options again for one second. Sure. Yeah, that's definitely it. I don't know what it is. Listen, we'll have to run with it as it is, folks, okay? I'll try this one. Can you see all the hands still? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. We can, yeah. Okay. I'll go back to the same one. Okay. Sorry, guys. Uh, it doesn't really matter, it really, does it? Well, it, I just wanted them to be to be looking at Peter's hand, do you know what I mean, if possible. But there's no, no problem, yeah. Okay. Carry on if you like, Peter. We're giving you a bit of a hand here, but if you would play it like a gentleman and tell us what you think, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm logged into BBO and I can only see one hand, yeah. Oh, perfect. Right. Oh, that's even better, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can guess where their hands might be, okay. Um, I normally play five card majors and stronger trump, two over one. But I'll also comment as if we're playing a bit of ACL so we can compare the difference. Uh, on this first hand, whatever system you're playing, I strongly suspect you will open one spade. Mm -hmm. 12 mm -hmm. points. North bids two clubs, which may be a one round force or maybe game forcing. Either way, you'll read with two hearts. 
So we'll we'll go through it as if it's at golf first, Peter. Would that be all right? Yep, that's fine. As if it's at golf and two hot first, and then we'll go back and we'll talk about maybe the difference if you're playing two over one game forcing. Okay. So this is two hearts, an aqua two hearts, but non forcing. Three diamonds is four suit forcing, asking the south to describe it. And three hearts would simply be five five. And that should be forcing now once north has made the fourth suit. And over three hearts, that's exactly what I wanted to hear because now I know we've got a fit in what suit? In hearts, in hearts yeah. exactly. I wasn't sure what to bid, but somebody said four hearts, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the fourth suit forcing bid enabled Peter to describe his hand further. Peter, what bid do you make if you didn't have a fifth heart or a diamond stop? You might have to rebid a five card spade suit, and or you could Re have had three card club support and rebid four clubs, I suppose. Very good, very good, excellent. So if you if you don't have uh, any other bid to make, you have after a fourth suit forcing has been bid, you have to go back to your five card suit, and it's not necessarily promising a sixth card. It just says you've no other information with which to give to your partner. Peter, do you mind sitting a bit closer to the uh, microphone because you're just a little bit, bring it closer to you, yeah, please. Okay, is that better? That's much better, thank you very much. Now, uh, Thomas, if you wanna get, yeah. uh, get out of the other chairs, I can do the, uh, bec and let you concentrate on working with- Yeah, you. perfect, perfect, thanks. Okay. So, so what do you want me to do now? I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave them now, yeah. Yeah. And you sit in. Yeah. So I have to stay on the zero, zero, 001. Remember, I can only other. see the south and eventually the north hand. Yeah. Yeah. You're the, you're the one. I know the hands, lads, so there's no problem with me. Okay. There I am. Now you can concentrate just on giving a lesson. Okay. So. Uh, the lead is going to be made and then Peter is going to uh, have a little think when he looks at the dummy and after he has a little bit of a think, he's going to start talking about what he's going to do and why he's going to do it. All right. And hopefully and hopefully we, we, we'll get. And uh, uh, by the way, as always, if anybody has any questions at any stage, what are you always allowed to do? Ask them. Yeah, we don't have to answer them, but you're always allowed to ask them. Yeah, yeah, Thomas. Um, um, open his rebid of two hearts. A, a lot of people will play that as being forcing for one round because it's by, has par a... it's by partnership agreement, isn't it? So it is possible, especially when North has responded at the two level. Absolutely, yeah. It, 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 and we're going to talk about the difference between that and two over one game forcing when we come to the next sequence, Michael. Does that well, make great. sense? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Now, as uh, all of you can see, the, the lead, uh, uh, the, usually the best lead in this situation when they have played four suit forcing and denied going to three no trump, we would lead a diamond. So I'm going to lead, once I've decided to lead a diamond, that's the diamond I'm going to lead. Okay, as soon as dummy goes down, the big mistake a lot of people make is they would just immediately play a small card. But there's a bit more to this hand than meets the eye. We can see that we're hoping to make four heart tricks if the hearts break. And we're going to make two diamonds is six, a club is seven, and a spade is eight. So we need to make two more tricks, which can only come really from the spade suit. So the general technique would be to play the second suit first. And although you're tempted to win the diamond in hand, it's correct in this case to win the diamond with dummy's ace. So that you're in dummy to play the small spade at trick two. And why, why Peter, are you not drawing Trump straight away? If you draw two rounds of Trumps, they might be able to play the third round 
stopping your roughing spades and you want to trump spades in the short trump hand. Mm. Excellent. Thank you. So play the spade from there and east. If he's got the ace or not, you probably play small. It makes no difference whether you play the king or queen. People tend to play the king as declarer just to confuse east west. Okay, so this suit is one. It doesn't mean the ace is necessarily correct, but it probably is. So we're concerned we might be losing two hard suits sometimes. So we'll be a little bit careful. We can accommodate four one heart breaks. As long as we don't draw. Now we're concerned with our ten of hearts. It looks as if hearts might well be three with East Ham. So don't draw another trump. Play another spade. Oh, sorry. Uh... And they'll probably come back to diamond. We expect them to. They may not. Okay. And now you can see the benefit of having won the first diamond with the ace. Now when they play the second diamond, we're in the right hand. To rough a spade. If we're to rough a spade with a six now, it's possible east is over roughing. But we're not really that worried. Because we can afford to lose two trumps. And do you see the way Peter's roughing the spade? He's not playing his winning spade, is he? Mm -hmm. He's roughing the little spade. Does everybody see that? Yeah. Yes. yes. And if they rough with the jack of hearts, well, they were probably going to get at least that trick anyway, weren't they? Yes. Yep. They, they're roughing with what was probably going to be a winner, assuming the hearts. What was, what was likely to be a winner. And now if we catch the ace of hearts and the hearts break, we're going to make an over trick. But when the hearts don't break, we just keep playing winning spades until they eventually take their heart. So you can see you've got two hearts, spade winner, and the ace of clubs. Now, Rory, uh, mm. Can everybody see that? Mm, yes. yes. Okay, Rory, will you undo, please, back to the start of the bidding? And we'll go back to where it's game forcing. Thanks very much. So when you're playing ACOL, you have to decide what your rebid at the two level is after a two over one. You have to decide uh, whether a change of suit at the two level in a lower ranking suit is forcing or non-forcing. And that's a partnership style agreement. There's benefits, there's pros and cons to, to everything. But if you play two over one game forcing, you're in a situation where you don't, you're not under pressure. So just give me one more undo, please. Okay, so we're now going back to look at the sequence as if it's game forcing. Well, if I bid two clubs, that announces that we must get to what contract? Game. Game. Mm. So the bidding cannot stop short of game. Game, game contract. So I'm in, in this position, I can show that I have a stop in the fourth suit, no three card spade support, no six card suit of my own, and a balanced hand. And by bidding two no trump, that would give Peter the chance. If he had club support, what could he bid? Secondary club support. Three no trump. No. Oh, three clubs. He could bid three clubs. If he'd secondary club support, I'd want to play in clubs because if he's got five hearts, five spades, four hearts, three clubs, he must only have... Single to diamond. Single to diamond. Well, now I might even be thinking about six. Okay, does everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Yes. And over two no trump, what does he bid? 
So over that, I have an easy bid of four hearts. Four hearts. Does that make sense to everybody? Mm. Yes. So again, I mean, two over one creates when you're in a game forcing auction. Two over one creates a a situation where you can go slow to investigate all the sort of games that are possible and slam. One of the downsides of playing two over one as only having nine or ten or more points is that South is in a more difficult position with the rebid and spaces taken away. Okay, is everybody happy with that? Mm, yes. Mm. Has anybody any questions on the hand? No. Uh, yes, if North only has nine or ten, uh, what do they have to say? One no Trump? Yes, if you're playing two over one game forcing, then you have to decide whether you're one no, whether you play a forcing no trump in response to a, a major or whether the one no trump shows six to a bad 11 or something like that. And again, every time you change a part of the system, what do you have to do? Go to all the other parts and make sure you understand what's happening with the other hands. OK. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm surprised Peter uh, discarded uh, a club on the third round of spades. I would have discarded the eight of diamonds. Doesn't matter, does it? Matter, matter. Does it? Uh, no, but, but uh, you could do either then. Yeah, it doesn't matter on the hand. Yeah, but 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 when I when I give this hand right when I use this hand in classes, most people will go off on this hand. They'll they'll either make the mistake of winning the diamond with the king, and sometimes they even rough the diamond in their own hand, or they win the diamond and they start drawing trumps. And if you do that, you don't have the ability to set up your suit. And notice, even though hearts broke four one. He still made the contract, didn't he? Mm. And and that meant that Peter was going to make the contract whenever the suit was three two or four one, which is 20, 25 and sixty eight, nearly 95 percent of the time. Most people, inexperienced players, will go down when the suit breaks badly, and that's what we're trying to get across with these seminars: is the way Peter's thinking at the start of the hand, and me hall, and everybody else who's done it. For at the start of the hand, what do they spend time doing? Evaluation. Thinking. Okay. Uh, we have to move seats, Rory, have we? Well, you can jump out of the seats and move them yourself. yourself. Yeah. Okay. So we just leave our seat, Peter. Yeah, and, and, I'll, he's I'll, and he's going to redeal. I'll jump out of my seat and now retire. Yeah, and I think actually we're all right, Peter. We're back into the we're back, Peter's into the north. Oh, sorry, Peter. Pete, uh. Yeah, Peter's into the north. We were, we're okay. We don't, sometimes we move, sometimes we don't. Is he in the right spot? Perfect, absolutely perfect, yeah. Are you sure? Positive. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right, yeah. <laughs> okay, how, how could I judge? Well, oh. no, I know, I, I, yeah, yeah, it's all right. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so I, I'm going to uh, smeave. Uh, do you want me to bit a heart here, uh, Yes, please. Okay, this is a difficult hand. Remember, I can only see the south hand. And 11 points is not really enough to be bidding game. Obviously, they take out double. It's too good to bid two diamonds, and you haven't really got enough diamonds to bid three diamonds. You'd like five cards in a minor. So although I'm not a big fan of the bid because your heart stop isn't great, I think you have to bid two no trumps. You're a little bit too good for one no trump, which is about seven to 10. So because there's nothing better to do, I think we're gonna to have to risk two no trump on this hand and hope partners got enough to raise the game. You want me to pass that, Thomas? Yes, please. Okay, so when I look at the two no Trump bid, I know my partner has probably 11 or 12 points, a stopper in, maybe two no Trump even at this vulnerability might even be a very good 10 point hand with position. 
but I'm expecting 11 or 12 and a stopper in the unbid suit. So with my number of points, we should have we should have enough to have a chance of three no Trump, Jeez. even though I have a singleton in hearts. I'm not happy about it, by the way. But sometimes you have to just bid the game and hope that you have a chance to make it. And after they leave, you put down the dummy and you say the very best of luck partner. Yeah, that's the obvious lead, guys. Okay. No, I'm just looking again. <laughs> and even if you had nothing to think about, I suggest you should still think for 10 to 15 seconds because it gives East West a chance to analyze the hand themselves so they can work on their defense. It was just a courtesy to your opponents. Always think for 10 to 15 seconds. I trick one. Looking at this hand, I'm a bit worried because I don't have the 10 or the jack of hearts. And East, I strongly suspect, has got a lot of hearts. And as soon as he gains the lead with the ace of clubs, I'm going to go off. So how can I make nine tricks without relying on the club suit? So I think most times I'm going to make four cards in the diamond suit. One card in heart suit is five. So we need to make four cards in the spade suit to make our nine tricks. So... Again, as standard practice, we will concede the first heart. And I don't know if you noticed, but he's played the five of hearts, which probably means we have got an odd number. Not that it's relevant on this hand. It doesn't matter whether we throw a <coughs> or a diamond, because remember, we're not really going to be tackling the club suit. So I've seen the five and the six of hearts. I'll play a small heart again. And again, not clear whether I should play a club or a diamond. I'm concerned the diamonds might also be 4-1. So let's play a club. Take the third heart. And although we have got concerns with the diamonds, it is not correct to play diamonds immediately because you're going to need the ace and queen of diamonds to come back to your hand to replete the spade finesse. Does everybody see the point that Peter just made? Yes, yeah. you need yeah. you need the ace queen of diamond to get again. Back. The instinct might be I'll take my winners and and take those tricks, but if you do that, you don't have the ability to do what you need to do later in the spade in the spe in the hand. Yeah, the spade suit on this hand. Perfect. Thank you, Peter. So now we're going to play a diamond. Again, the ace and queen are equal, so generally as declare, you try and hide your lesser honours, so you win with the ace one, the queen. Bit concerned of that ten of diamonds, and now I'd be inclined to think the West could well have jack to four diamonds originally. It doesn't matter at this stage. Pete the spade finesse. And we've come to a crucial stage of the hand, which is probably going to be the second time you're thinking of this, this hand. You thought a trick one, and now you've got another decision. Is how do you play the diamond suit? Remember in the East, played the 10 of diamonds. So I think it's important now to cash the king of diamonds. And now when West shows out, you're in position now to play a diamond to the eight. And that's called a marked finesse, everybody, isn't it? Yeah. It's amazing how many times uh, inexperienced players don't take a marked finesse.
catch the ace of spades while we're over them. <laughs> and then we're just going to concede. So even though it was a pretty poor 11 count, and even though North only had a single individual stop in hearts, game had a chance, didn't it? Yep. Even though spades broke 4-2, and even though diamonds broke 4-1, uh, it had a chance. And that's one of the things you have to, we have to get over being afraid of going down. You have to sometimes just say if you have enough points and you and you have a chance, you have to be in the game, particularly in teams. Match pointed pairs, I don't care what anybody does, because match pointed pairs is is a different, a completely different game to teams. But the the lure of the vulnerable game in teams is what is what tempted us on this hand to get to the game. Does everybody see Peter's analysis of, of even though he'd a singleton at the start in the dummy, what did he do before he played the singleton? Took time. What do you do? What, what, what's your rough game plan, Peter, uh, when you're a declarer? What's the first thing you do? Uh, could you run through your thought processes for us? Yes. It, it, I sort of cut my winners first, and then I cut my losers. And then I look at the danger cards. And on this hand, the danger card is that East can get in early to clear the hot suit. Which they've done on the opening. On the King of Hearts, it's unlikely East is going to get in, of course, because West has opened showing 12 plus points. So you, you really know nearly all West cards. East card, Peter. Sorry, East. East, sorry, East cards, yeah, I'm not here. You know all East cards other than possibly the Jack of Diamonds or the Jack of Hearts. They're one of the two cards that could have been with the West Hand. Peter, it, is it fair to say that uh, given the, the lead that you had and the bidding as it took place, yes. that uh, when you looked there you, and you saw that you only had uh, King, Queen, Jack, of clubs you had to lose to the ace of clubs that you realize then that if you play clubs at all you're certain to lose and therefore you have to place the cards in the diamonds where you want them or in the spades where you want them you have to put the king of spades in the within the west hand but he is always going to have it on this hand because yeah. he's the one level but even if he hadn't opened the bidding and it may be just overcalled in a different situation. Again, your best line is the spade finesse. Mm. But it's, it's closer if he hadn't opened. But you might be able to knock out the club. If hearts are 4-4, four, four, yes. <coughs> if, they, if they don't overcall or they don't bid, you might have a legitimate <coughs> line to play for hearts to be 4-4 four, four, rather yeah. than the... Spade finesse, which is more likely uh, a four-four heartbreak or the spade finesse. By the way, well, I would be watching very carefully which cards East-West play at tricks one and two on the hearts. That's going to give me a good indication of if the hearts are four-four, and if the hearts are four-four, I've got time to give up the ace of clubs. So you need to be watching these yeah. cards to know if the hearts are four-four. And I think if they were 4-4, four, four, we don't need the spade for this. Yes, yes, that's my point. But which is more likely, a 4-4 four, four break or a 50% or or spade finesse? A spade finesse. Spade finesse. Spade finesse. Break. Slightly. Yeah. But I also think that they're going to tell you if they're 4-4 four, four with their yes. heart. By, 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 the, by whether they give count or not on the opening lead. I think we okay, know. any questions there, ever, anybody? We're all very quiet today. <laughs> They're very well behaved. I, they must have the World Cup on in the background, Rory. That's what I think. Who's playing now at the moment? I don't know. I, I'm only interested in later on. Uh, France and Poland. Sorry, is it France oh, and right. Poland? Yeah. Okay, so again, that's a very good hand for how you have to think at the start. Count your guaranteed tricks. 
looks like four diamonds all going well. One heart is five, one spade is six. The heart lead destroys your confidence in any other suit and you can't afford to play the club on the bidding because East has opened the bidding, therefore they are certain to have the ace of clubs. But because they've opened the bidding, they're also very likely to have the king of spades. Spades. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, um, it's, playing a six diamonds would be very interesting, but I don't think you can make six diamonds. Uh... I think the four one break might scupper you. Yes, yes. I think the four one break might scupper you. Okay. Uh, uh, you, you might be able to, though. Um, I think you have to lose a, uh, two clubs. Well, sorry, so. I'd say double. No, I'd say double dummy. You might be able to because. Mm. You, you you can you can certainly I might be timing as well mightn't it we'd have to have a good look at that Michael deal it out mm. and tell send us in an email will you, you would have sure, sure 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 Thomas um, yeah 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 I find deep a website called deep finesse is ah, but websites. it's better it's better if you do it yourself rather than oh, you yeah. get, getting the computer to do it for you oh I I have been trying and I think the four were. Uh, the nine of clubs, I think, will become a winner. Uh, you can't really rough a club in in the north hand. With I the think it's a diamonds. time. I think it's a timing issue as well, mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. well as the bad break. Okay, mm -hmm. let's let's move on to number. Demi. Sorry, you'd have to, guess, you'd have to ref hearts and demi and guess the diamonds right. I suspect exactly. I think uh, yeah, you, that's uh, I think double dummy. That if you knew all fifty two cards, you could probably do it. But in reality, you're not likely to be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'd be fair enough. We might have to move seats, lads. Yeah. Yeah, I'll come out. Peter, you're see. going to east. Okay. I must be going to west. Let me come out for the moment. Okay. Okay, this is um, one of these difficult hands when you've got a few options. You could, well, two options really. You can overcall two diamonds, which you're a bit strong for, or you could make a takeout double. And if you make a takeout double, you could complicate your next bid. So I think I will make a takeout double because I do have the four spades and my, my hand is quite good, seven, 10, 11, 17 count. But I wouldn't argue with two diamonds. The modern tendency is to have your single suited hands a bit stronger for a takeout double, but just about enough for a takeout double, and then show it as a big diamond hand. And as I was listening to Peter earlier on, I know that if I make this bid, pass please, Rory. If I jump to the three level, I'm showing a, a, a five card suit and about a minimum of eight or nine or ten sort of points given. And the three clubs, if he has a proper takeout double, he's going to have support for my clubs, isn't he? And if he doesn't have a, if he's a strong double, what's he going to do over my three clubs? It is answered. It is suit. It is suit. And now I'm going to know that he has a, stronger hand than overcalling. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes. Yeah. It's sufficient. Now I'm interested. Oh, now I know he has diamonds There's and three points. clubs. Would I have spades when I bid three clubs? No. No. And as Peter said earlier on, that should nearly always show a five card suit. Otherwise, you're just going to end up in trouble. By the way, I don't think two spades should show a five card suit. I don't think the other major should show a five card suit, but I certainly think like Peter does a jump to three of the minor should show a five card suit. Now over that, what, what should I do everybody? What do you think I should bid? Support the diamonds. Support the diamonds. What do I have? If I support the diamonds, what level do I have to do that at? And I don't want to go past where. Well, not not if I can help it. Like, I mean, if 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 my partner has six diamond winners, and the ace of clubs and the ace of hearts, we could nearly be able to make 
10 or 11 tricks in what contract? Trump. No Trump. Trino Trump. But I can't, I can't bid Trino Trump, can I? You've no stopper in hearts. I know, it's killing me, isn't it? So what could I possibly do? Could three you bid hearts. three spades showing you have a spade stopper? Oh no, three hearts. Very good, yeah. I, uh, three spades wouldn't, I don't think three spades would show a spade stopper. I think three oh. spades would show clubs and, long clubs and spades. spades. That's what I think it would show. Okay. I mean, I, I'm not certain, but I, but I think you can bid their suit asking, have you a heart? Stop. Stop. And if partner has a heart stop, what will they do? Three no Trump. 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 And if they don't have a heart stop, what will they do? Four diamonds. Well, if they have two little diamonds, they could bid four diamonds. If they have a singleton diamond, a single, two little hearts, they could bid four diamonds. If they have a singleton heart, what could they bid? Five diamonds. If, yeah, if they did, if they had a heart void, what might they even be able to bid? Six diamonds. Six. Well, because if they have a heart void, then the points they have in hearts won't be in hearts, will it? It has to be somewhere yeah. else. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yep. Yes. So yes. I'm very I'm very curious as to what he's going to bid, by the way. On, on this hand, I, I have a few options. Firstly, I, I could have bid three no Trump directly over three clubs. So I do have a heart stop and a running diamond suit almost. But I hadn't given up on the possibility of six diamonds if Parna had the Ace of clubs and the ace of spades. That's all he needs. With the diamond finesse, he's probably going to be right. But because I didn't bid three no Trump in the first place, I'm going to bid it now. There's no point. And now I know he has what? That's hard stop. Hard stop. So now I can pass with confidence because I didn't have to guess. Does that make sense, everybody? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now that's called Q bidding the opponent's suit, and there's Eastern Q bids and Western Q bids, and and and, and, and the way most of, the way most people play it is that a Q bid of the opposition suit is asking for a stop in your partner's hand. Because if I had a stop with the West hand, what could I have done myself earlier? It just yourself. I could bid it myself, couldn't yeah. I? All right, is everybody happy with that? Yeah. Can I can I ask one thing? Um, going back to the double yeah. by East in the first place, does that guarantee four spades? No, not when they rebid three diamonds. No, but in the first place with the double. <coughs> No, it, well, it, no, no, but it, it, the double can't guarantee four spades. We don't know whether it has four spades or not. Okay. The, the, the three diamond bid is saying they have a long suit of diamonds, which is too good to. No, I, I think what he's saying is that no. originally, when North bids a heart and yes. East doubles, yeah. when you double uh, one major, you're showing the other major. So yeah. originally, no, no, no. yes, yes. Oh, yes. Originally, I know, yeah. I know. That's showing the twelve to sixteen range. Yes, exactly. So now, how do time, we know? How do we know? Partner doesn't have that hat. Because they bid. came back with the three diamond. It. It's when they bid three diamonds, they might not now have four spades. Okay, and but it, it then. Could West, if they had four spades, have suddenly said two spades instead of three? Yeah, but then it would be okay because if West okay. said, yeah. if I said two spades, what yeah. would partner do if they don't have spades and they have a long suit of diamonds? Well, they'd go back to their diamonds. Exactly. Yeah. Does yeah, that yeah. make sense? So yeah. we don't know that partner doesn't have spades until they rebid. Okay. Three diamond. There, yeah. there are three diamonds. Yeah. The double is a double mechanism. It shows a 12 to sort of 16, 17 with classic shape, in which case you'd nearly always have four cards in the other major. But if yeah. you've got 18 or 19 or 20, you have to start off by double, even if you have length in their suit, because it's at your next bid, the rebid is going to show the strength. Now on this hand, the doubler actually has diamonds and spades, yeah. but it doesn't have to have diamonds and spades. Yes, yeah. okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, no trouble at all, yeah. never a problem, all right? Why, why after the double did you jump to three? Not because two. I, well, because had I got a good, had a, a, who 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 has the balance of points? You have. He, well, we do, yeah. don't we? <clears throat> what might two clubs be over one heart? Zero, zero points. It could be a Yarborough. 
because what uh, most it, West the, what forced most, to bid. Yeah, you're what forced most to bid. West do. <clears throat> he has to show he has something. Take out this double, isn't that correct? Yes. Yeah. Do not pass. No, upon pain of debt, do not pass, isn't it? So, because we have the balance of points, and I have a five card suit. If my partner has a proper, a normal, let's say, take out double, right? Well, then he's likely going to have three or four cards in my suit, isn't he? Yes. So I can, yeah. I can jump, and the three clubs is is making it more difficult for North to be able to compete, isn't it? <laughs> Yes. Yep. And it also lets my partner know that when they bid three diamonds, they're now not worried. They know we have enough points for what? Game. Okay. Game. Yeah. Okay, yes, so I see. I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. All happy? Tease yeah. this out, lads. We've loads of time. There's no problem. You ask the questions you need to ask to get to where you need to be. Is that all right? Thanks. That's grand. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now, Just before we leave this hand, also notice that six diamonds would have been quite probably making if West was a point lighter and had ace to five clubs. You can see that we everything goes away on the spades, and we could make six diamonds. So, yeah, even 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 with the, even with less points in my hand, yeah, mm -hmm. slam could be a good contract. Okay, so you're on lead, Rory. I think you're leading. Yeah, lovely. Good man. Okay, again, we take our 10 to 15 seconds to, to look at our winners. And we're hoping to make five diamonds, four spades, and a heart, hopefully six diamonds. What are we going to do if North doesn't have the king of diamonds? We could yeah, go down a diamond. Well, we could play for South to have the Singleton King and cash the ace, but that's way against the odds. So I think there's not going to be much to play on this one. We're just going to, to win the first heart, which we have to do. Hi, darling. And we're yeah. watching the hearts at North South of play, and they've led the seven. South has led the seven. Followed by the four. And North, who'd opened the bidding with a heart, probably implies that South has got a doubleton heart. Seven, four, doubleton. Does everybody see that? Mm, yeah. yeah. If South had a had four of them, they might lead fourth best if they've an honor. If South had three of them, they might have the rule of leading what way? Mm. Mud. Mud. Mud, yeah. So high low probably indicates that South had a doubled. And notice Peter's thinking about that straight away, looking at the card, not forgetting what the first card was played. That's why he is ranked where he is. So again, we have to get to dummy to take the diamond finesse. And how do you play three to the ten opposite ace queen jack to six? Made the turn first. Ten. 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 To do it twice. And even if they cover, you're going to be the okay. I nearly got away with that myself yesterday, Rory. They nearly played small. They weren't expecting me to play me honour. But unfortunately, they caught it before they touched the card in dummy. <laughs> so again, another key for to clear a play here. At this stage, just play the seven tricks. Don't waste your energy on an over trick that's never going to be there. So, because concentration is probably the biggest part of to clear a play. Excellent, excellent. How many how many times do you see people play out every single card in their hand and hoping that somebody's going to throw away the ace of? Oh. It's a waste of mental energy for everybody, isn't it? Yeah. 
if you just claim I'm making mm. these tricks, you're going to get your <laughs> ace of clubs. We move on to the next board and it might give us if we're playing a three or a four board uh, round or if we're playing a six or an eight board or a 12 board segment of a team's match that extra time might be what we're able to use on a more tricky hand later on does that make sense yeah. Yeah. but I've seen people I've seen international players and I say you have as well Peter and they, they they'll almost play out every card hoping that a mistake might be made but you shouldn't do it because it's as peter says it's a waste of concentration it's a waste of effort and you can use the time much more productively Excellent. later on everybody happy mm -hmm. yes okay keep going there's one board we're going to have to skip lads there was a mistake in the the lin i can't remember which one it is though Where do you want i me think to it's this one i think it's this one Yeah, go on, uh, sit out there, Peter, of that seat, please. You want me to move as well, uh, Thomas? Yeah. You're going nor uh, north I side. Just want, right? I, I just have to see. There's one hand that I know there was a mistake made. I'm just having a check of it for a second. <clears throat> yeah, it's this one we're not playing. On to board number five, please. And then I'll tell you where to sit now. Thanks, lads. We'd miss Jason, Michael, I tell you. We'd miss Jason. <laughs> Beg your pardon. I would, I would, <laughs> I would. <laughs> okay, lovely. Peter, you have to be in the east and I have to be in the west. Not according to my notes. Uh, if this no, is... just trust me. Okay. Okay. We're so, playing weak no trump, Peter. I'll open a weak no trump. Fits the bill very well. Now, what would you bid according to the West Hand, everybody? What thought have it have your have your thoughts? Three no trump. Two okay, no would, trump. so yeah. it's a choice between two or three no trump, isn't it? Yes. So why three no trump? For the people who said three no trump club suit quality the five card suit now again one of the things we have to get across is when you bid to a contract it's not saying when i bid this contract three no trump i'm not saying to peter peter you have to make nine tricks what i'm saying by bidding three no trump is peter i hope i'm giving you a good enough chance a hand to have a chance to make nine tricks it's aspirational and doesn't that change the pressure you put on yourself yeah. if you think like that and the reason why you go with this have the five card suit and clubs could could produce five tricks i if i've got five tricks and clubs i've got seven winners in my own hand haven't i yeah. surely if i've seven winners in my own hand my partner might be able to produce one or two more to give us that a chance to make nine mm -hmm. tricks. Okay, as soon as Demi goes down, I'll take my 10 to 15 seconds. And my first impression is I've got a lot of work to do. All we've got is two spade tricks, one heart trick is three, one club trick is four, and two diamonds is six. So we need to manufacture three more tricks. So your first point of attack is to look at your longest suit, which is clubs. And we're hoping to make four tricks at least from clubs. And we're missing the king and the queen. So we either need to have the king and the queen on side, or the club suit to be 3-3 three, three, with at least one of the honours, the king or the queen on side. And a lot of thinking there, but it's it's quite a standard pattern hand that um, you would realize you need to pick up this club suit in some way for a lot of tricks. So bear in mind that we've got to really protect the entries to our own hand in order to do that. So we've no choice but to win the first spade with the king. 
who we'd already decided what we're doing when that holds. And we need to get to our hand to play it clever. Diamond, again, remember you put your highest bone on to try and hide your lower honors. It's likely you've got the king, but they don't know for certain. And now we, we will start attacking the club suit. Putting in the 10, hoping the king queen <coughs> right. Okay, we've lost to the king. It doesn't mean North doesn't have the queen. They could easily be false card in the same way we have. Mm -hmm. Again, I played the three of spades. I could easily play the seven just to confuse them a bit, but I didn't. So now we need to have the queen of clubs in the south hand. If it's with the north hand, even if it's singleton queen, we're not going to get enough tricks. So we'll come back to a hand, makes, whoops, um, just log me out of BBO, I'll go back in. Uh, Peter or Rory, will you invite Peter back? If you, um, if you tell me that uh, I'm better than Jason. You're better than Jason. That's better. That wasn't too hard. Oh, I lied. <laughs> if he ever watches, if he ever watches the video, then he'll he'll have heard that. So that's okay. <laughs> okay, so I second dummy with the ace of spades. I was coming back via the diamond. Makes and now we'll try this club finesse. Risking going quite a lot off if that club was wrong. But it is teams and the desire is always to make your contract if you're in games. And don't worry if you go two or three off. And now let's hope the clubs are three, three. You're born lucky. Born lucky. You make your own luck. You have to, you, you have to, again, if we think about what Peter did, he went through for the tricks he had, he went through the suits he played, and he explained why he was playing this way with the analysis of. Now, I use this hand an awful lot of times with teaching, and it is exceptionally rare that any of my students ever make this contract. Rarely. Now, which heart would you all play here? And because the heart could be right, the king of hearts, and you could be making an over trick. Yes, but I'd be down if no, it No, but you'd be down if it was the, if it was the so, wrong thing to do. Yes, that's what I think we all wanted to hear. You can't afford to take risks in teams, and you would just take your ace. And again, now we'll concede. Same theory as last time. You're not making any more tricks. That's a good, that's a good concession, making 12, by the way. We'll have to call the director to get that score changed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This but is how the top people make their extra tricks. That's, that's, how, that's how you get first, lads, you know? Claim 12 tricks when you only make nine. Of course it would be changed, wouldn't it? Well, it's BJ O'Brien's best part of his game, how he handles <laughs> the uh, bridge mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now, so if we look at this again, they've led a spade, haven't they? What spade did they lead? The four to the top. The five, five. five. so the five. spades could be five, two. <clears throat> now, let's say they let, made another lead against you. If they lead a heart against you, you might change the way you think. Why would that be, Peter? No, on the heart lead, you, they give you an extra heart trick. You only need four club tricks now. Because you make two hearts, two spades, two diamonds, six. You only need three club tricks, don't you? So, but I don't think you will. I think you, you're you probably going to take the club finesse mm -hmm. trick two. And then maybe duck a heart when a heart comes back. So I don't think a heart lead affects the general principle of attacking the club suit. No, you definitely attack the club suit. But it might give you, there might be more layouts where... You only get you only get a second club trick, and you might be able to get an extra diamond trick if they lead a heart. 
but when they lead a, when they lead a spade you have no choice but to play for the to to, to bring home the clubs for four tricks yep. and and that's the that's the different analysis of the different lead okay everybody happy yeah mm -hmm. so if you play in pairs but you would be looking to make 10 tricks on this hand and there's several lines to make 10 but i think that's beyond what we're Peter, uh, if you're playing strong no trump and five card majors, what way do you think the bidding would go uh, playing that system? The Americans would open a diamond with the south hand, and with with, with your hand, with the east hand, with yeah. East, yeah. Sorry, east, yeah. yeah, with east hand, and then it's quite difficult what they would do with the west hand. They, That's why I'm asking you. They I'm can curious. No trump forcing which I don't think that many people play. Or they can oh, not over it. In America, they certainly don't play it over a diamond, really. So they could be two clubs game forcing in clubs. But You'd probably forcing. do that, wouldn't you? I'd be two clubs with a Jess in there. Yeah, and having the three little diamonds isn't necessarily a bad thing either. No. And okay, everybody happy with that? I mean, if it's good enough, if it's good enough to bid three no Trump over a week no Trump, it should be good enough to make a two over one game force yeah okay we have to move seats lads hold on till i just check where peter's in south if this is the hand i'm thinking of No, it's not the hand I'm thinking of. It's not, no. Uh, go on to number seven. Okay. Yeah, Peter's in the south and I'm in the north. Spot on. Pardon me? Yeah, yeah, we're all happy. We're where we want to be, Chief. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Up to you, Peter. Okay, I'll just open a simple one heart here. There's not that much of interest at the moment. Now, again, I want to just for a few moments discuss the difference between if you're playing different systems and how you need to approach different types of hand. Well, do we all play weak no trump or strong no trump? Weak. 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 Okay, weak. so let's think about it from a weak no trump point of view. What have we got in the set in the north hand? 13 points. 13 points. 13 points. A weak no trump opening. Well, we've enough we've a we've a fit and enough points for, yeah, for game. game. Yeah. So what do we bid? Would you bid four hearts? Four hearts. Well, the problem with four hearts is isn't that taking away an awful lot of space? Yeah, I mean, very, it's just taking away bad. massive amounts yeah. of space, isn't it? And also, some people play one heart past four hearts. What would you play that as normally, Peter? That would be up to 10 or 11 points. Yeah. Generally, some shape I means you've got a singleton somewhere Five else. Five cards, so Distribution, yeah. yeah. Distribution as opposed to a high card raise. Does that make sense? Yes. So, again, whether you're playing a weak no trump, or a strong no trump, you need to have different ways with which to convey different types of hand. So some people play a system called Jacoby or Jacoby, two no trump in response oh, yes. to a major. Jacobi. Yeah. Now, what does that do? Well, it keeps the bidding. It's no. lower. Yeah. It allows Peter to do what? Show his shape. Show what he has, different types of hand. And it allows us to express interest in slam at a lower level. Does everybody see the benefit of that? But again, you can't just wheel this out in the middle of a, a game and say, oh, well, we heard Peter and Thomas and Rory speaking about Jacoby. And I think that you have to go through the system with your partner. partner OK, so I, I'm confident uh, that Peter knows the continuations. I've been privileged enough to sit opposite him in a trials. So I'll bid two no Trump.
Now, if it was on BBO, I would self-alert. If it was face-to-face, -face, uh, Peter would alert the bid. But as we're doing a lesson, we don't need to do that, okay? I now know that Thomas has got at least 12 points and full card support. And my hand was either going to be probably <coughs> a five-card heart suit and 12 plus, or a four-card heart suit, and then I'll have 15 plus. So this hand, I'm a bit better than that. I've got a few extra points. I've got a 17 count with a sixth heart. I'm looking at the potential of a slam. And I, mm. could, I could possibly bid Blackwood straight away, but I'll make the bid that allows partner to cooperate because he might be looking at more than a small slam. So I'll bid three spades, which shows a singleton spade and a reasonable hand. It's a good 14 plus. Okay. Now, does that make my hand better or worse, everybody? Better. 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 Yeah. I thought I had two losers in spades, didn't I? Mm -hmm. And now suddenly I don't have two losers in spades. Does that make sense? Yes. And also, if my partner has a better than minimum hand and he's a singleton spade, he doesn't have any points in spades, does he? So they're in the other six. No. Exactly. Now, do I have anything extra to tell my partner? I've got two aces, ace of clubs and ace of diamonds. No, no, I'm the north. Oh. Yeah. Your ace of clubs are your ace of spades. Well, I don't need to tell them that yet, do I? I'm not in any rush. I have two choices on this hand. I could bid either four hearts, just saying I'm a minimum for my Jacoby. Jacoby. Jacoby, or I could even bid. Four no Trump. No, I, well, no, I wouldn't do that. You oh, see. Yes. I wouldn't I be bidding four no Trump because I don't know the situation yet, do I? Oh, okay. I could even bid three no Trump and three no Trump isn't saying I want to play in. Three no Trump. It's it just, just giving my partner out. the opportunity to continue to bid out there. Yeah. Hand. Back yes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. What can partner do over three no Trump? They could Q bid. I could Q bid. They could then bid Blackwood. They could bid Blackwood now. They've loads of options, haven't they? But I haven't made a Q bid, have I? No. no. no okay. I, uh, I know all the information that Thomas has said, but I also know a bit more than that. I know he hasn't got a 12 count with King, Queen of Spades. Because that would be a very unsuitable hand opposite a singleton, and then he would have bid four hearts. So he's saying that he's got a variety of hands, but he's suitable to go looking for a slam. So hence he's got something like the ace, ace of spades or three small spades, but something that fits very well opposite my singleton. <coughs> wasted Sabonis of Queen Jackson spades. And back. going back to four hearts would be saying, I, 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 your singleton spade doesn't appeal to my hand, but I still have 12, 12 or more points, yeah? And I might have passed four hearts, but in this case, over three no Trump, there's no point me just telling, telling Thomas what I've got. I should be asking him what he's got here because I can't really tell him what all my controls are by bidding four clubs or four diamonds. I'm better off just bidding a straight Blackwood bid. He'll find out the information he... He needs, yeah. And over that, I'll bid five hearts, two key cards without the queen. queen. And there's no way that we can have enough to bid a grand because if Thomas had the king of diamonds as well as the ace of spades and king of hearts, he probably would have done more than bid three no trump. So I'm just going to sign off in six hearts and hope we've got enough tricks. But I'm expecting Dummy to be to have something more than the Ace of Spades and the King of Hearts. Maybe yeah, of one other, one or one other card, but not two other cards. <laughs> now, what's the only bad thing about my hand, everybody? Three tops. Clubs. 
Well, no, it's four three 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 is the worst right. thing, isn't it? Yes, mm. that's right. So, four yeah. tripleton three is generally the worst sort of hand. But I know my partner is an unbalanced hand. So he's either got five hearts and a four card, because I know he's a singleton or a singleton spade. He's either got a six card heart suit or a five card heart suit and a four card second suit. Okay. So Jimmy goes down with, with sort of the hand we expected. There's some bad news in the hand, though. The jack of hearts is serving no useful purpose. If Thomas had king to four hearts, it would have been exactly the same hand. And we would prefer the Jack of Hearts and the Jack of Diamonds to be the Queen of Diamonds. And then we would have six hearts, one spade is seven, three diamonds is 10, and ace king of clubs is 12. But he doesn't have the Queen of Diamonds, it's a bit unlucky, or the Queen of Clubs. So on the face of it, it looks as if we're gonna to have to lose a club and we have to guess the diamond right, or not. And I think a lot of people would draw trumps on Take a diamond finesse one way. Well, if, if Peter, if you're playing uh, for Ireland, the first thing Peter would have done would be knowing what their agreements are on lead. What what could be some of the agreements that they have on lead? It could be queen, ten, nine of clubs, or it could be the ten, ten, nine of clubs to a, a number. And some people play that that sometimes they deny or shows it shows one or no or you know what I mean so if 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 they if they said the 10 denies what way would you play the club suit Peter if the 10 denies the queen I would then be playing east to potentially have queen X to clubs and if the 10 promised the queen you'd play the yeah. Yeah. and if he doesn't know where it is he has to to guess is to mm -hmm. guess okay does that make sense yes and at peter's level they would all have convention cards filled in if you go to any of the irish trials on uh, or any of the bridge great britain for the camrose the senior camrose the junior camrose all the pairs systems are available to download before they play you can actually look at their system card and see their agreements see their leads and see whether they follow it or not. That's what I always like to do. <laughs> so my, my other thinking on this hand is, is there any possible way I can avoid having to guess the diamonds? And there, there potentially is. It's, it's a play which is quite common. It's, it's actually called an elimination play, where you eliminate one of the suits and you generally choose your shortest suit in here at spades. And I'm going to be roughing out those spades. I'm going to be trumping my two spades with the long trumps, which is unusual. Remember, you're probably always taught that you don't gain much by roughing with a long trump suit. Mm -hmm. but in case, we'll see what happens. I'm going to, to win the first club. Again, technique, I'm winning with the ace just to hide the king. Nothing strange happened in hearts, they've, they've broken. And now we're going to find this elimination play. We play a spade to the ace. Not gaining any extra tricks by this particular play. But it's setting it up, isn't it, Peter? We're going to set up for the end play. We've drawn all the trumps, but yet we're still going to Play an extra trump to dummy, gaining nothing. And then we can complete the elimination by roughing the spade. We'll cash the king of clubs in case the queen comes down. And then we play a 
club loser and we don't care who wins. At least as we suspected would win, has to now play a diamond or give us a rough and discard. So that's an elimination of the side suit followed by an end play. Does everybody see that? Yes. Did Peter have to guess the diamonds? No. No, because no. they led into. Well, I mean, if they didn't lead a diamond, let's undo and change it, Rory. Just show that if they didn't lead a diamond, what else were they going to have to do? Rough and discard, yeah. Win the club and either play a spade or uh, whatever's left. Play a spade, Rory. If they play a spade, what does he do? Rough it. Discard. Discard. The diamond. And he, he scores his trump separately, doesn't he? Yeah. Yep. So it doesn't matter what he stood, whether they have the Queen of Diamonds, whether he didn't have to guess the diamonds by playing the cards the way he played, he made the opposition bend to his will, didn't he? Yes. Yes. In fact, if 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 if, if at Peter's level, I'm pretty sure as soon as the Queen of Clubs is won, he'll just put the cards away. <laughs> They'll just go, meh, there you go. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> Put the cards on the table. Uh, you will, you will, won't you? You'll just give up because there's nothing you can do. You're stuck between a rock and a hard place. And again, when I use these hands for teaching, the amount of times I see people guess in what suit? Diamonds. Diamonds. And sometimes they guess good and sometimes they guess wrong um, yeah what do i do if i'm in a face-to-face -face class lads i put in two queens of diamonds <laughs> yeah that's a very mm -hmm. good thing to do on this on these sort of hands so that they can't guess right does that make sense mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't tell them either by the way just put mm -hmm. two queens of diamonds in and when they whatever if they finesse then they're always going to go down but they shouldn't finesse they need to eliminate all of the suits and then when they play the club suit they throw them in on the club. It's like a choo-choo train coming down the track, isn't it? A choo-choo train. Yeah, you can't you can't get out of the way. Do you ever remember the black and white movie? Yes, where indeed. The train yeah. is, where the train is coming down. The, it's the an end play is like that. It's coming down the track, and East in this situation is going to know what's going to happen as soon as they go spade or rough a spade, and then pack to the table a rough a spade. It's coming down the track at you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, all happy. Yes. yes. Okay, yes. we've two more hands, I think, Peter. We've two more hands. Okay, number eight, please. Let's see where we have to go. Sorry. Peter's still in south, yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. Are you sure you have another one after this? Uh, I'm, I, yeah, well, there's nine in this. Trust me. Yeah. All right. Okay. 99% nine, positive because I put in, I knew Peter was so good that we'd need another board with him. Thomas, could Th Peter do a defensive play as well? Well, no, we did a separate seminar on that. Right. Okay. That was that we did a seminar. There's a YouTube video of that with Carl the Raymaker, and it was uh, it was an excellent seminar. Yeah. So if you if you go on to the Grandmaster Bridge YouTube, like, share, and comment, please. Otherwise, uh, hmm. I don't know what it does, but just everybody says it. It, it just makes our, our channel more relevant. In a, okay, it. makes our channel more relevant. Like, share, and comment, please, on all the videos. But there's a defense uh, video up there with Carl the Raymaker, and, and it was genuinely a fabulous, uh, fabulous seminar. Okay. Just you. Well, you, you can always watch the way that I'm defending here, Mary, and it's, you know, it's, it's just a wonder to behold. <laughs> Thank you very much, Roy. Uh, just before I bid, bid this hand, I would agree totally that defence is the hardest part of the game. Opening leads is even harder because you know so little. And, uh, and Carl's the Raymaker uh, does some great, uh, great um, work with the juniors on defence, and he, he certainly helped them a lot. Okay, I've got a mediocre 12 count here, so I'm just going to open uh, my one spade. One thing with your 11 counts, by the way, I know I've got 12 here, try and avoid opening your 11 counts when you've got a 5, 3, 3, 2 shape. So if you do want to open any 11 counts, try and have a 5, 4 shape. Gives you a little bit more safety if you avoid getting too high. So this I've got um, 12 count, 5, 4, so one spade is very normal. 
So again, confident that partner knows what we're going to do. Okay, so this time he's made a Jacobi bid showing four card support and 12 plus. And my hand is pretty awful, apart from the fact I've got two aces. So we're making a bid called Fast Arrival. The faster you bid, the weaker you've got when you're in a game forcing auction. So I'm just going to sign off in four spades. And now my partner hasn't got better than minimum, has he? No. Hasn't shown me that he has any shortness anywhere. So I have nothing but the bare minimum. So what am I going to bid? Pass. Pass. But if I had 17 or 18 or 19 points, I could continue to bid with the knowledge that Peter is a minimum Maybe. opener. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody mm -hmm. happy? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the most logical lead from the bidding. Well, nobody's uh, nobody shouted at you saying that the lead was horrible. So, well, you could consider a, a, a trump lead with uh, bidding like that, would you? You could, but when you have a when you have a decent sequence, it's yeah. probably better, isn't it? I'd like to think Safer. that the the the, <laughs> the opening lead is 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 not by rote. It's to show my partner as simply as possible some aspect of my hand. And by showing the Queen of Clubs, I'm promising the Jack and possibly the Ten. And if I can tell people against suit contracts to avoid overleading fourth highest. Against no trumps, I always lead the fourth highest, but it gives away so much against suit contracts. So try and lead on three small or four small before you lead away from Queen Ten to four. Queen nine to four, and that's sort of holding. Open the give away the contract quite a lot of the time. On this hand, I'm looking at Demi, and it's a bit disappointing, even though there's five card support. I can see I've got a club loser. I'm counting my losers on this hand because it's easier. And I've probably got three diamond losers a lot of the time. So bear in mind, we've just watched our partner play the last hand. We're going to use the same technique. We're going to see, can we do a similar end play on this hand in order to avoid guessing diamonds? And remember the technique with these, end, with these elimination end plays is you rough out one of your Stop, shorts. Sophia. So we're not looking at clubs because you want to get two, but we're going to rough out that heart loser. And Peter, three. could you just for one second go through how you count losers as declarer uh, when the lead has been made, please? Okay, so you can see we've no losers in the spade suit. We've got five spades. Ace king and another heart, opposite too small. You can see we're going to rough a heart with a spade. So we've no losers in hearts or spades. With two small clubs opposite ace x, we must always lose a club. So that's one loser. We then go to the diamond suit and with queen to three up to jack to four, we could lose three tricks. If we play a diamond to the jack and it loses to the king, the ace 10 could be with the east hand. And if we play a diamond to the queen and that loses to the king, the ace 10 could be with the west hand. So we desperately want them to play the diamond suit. So, Everybody happy with that? Yes, yes. I went too quick there, but we, we really want them to play the diamond. So, there's no point in conceding the first trick, although often it is right to duck the first trick in a suit contract, but it isn't here. So many trumps we can afford to draw them in as many rounds as it takes. When you're counting the trump suit, everybody, what's the best way to count the trump suit? Count them down. What you're missing. Mm -hmm. If you've got 10 of them, how many have the opposition? Three. 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 Uh, that's all you need to count and look for. So we've seen three have gone and east, but he started a club. Sometimes it means nothing to us, but sometimes you look at their first discard. It gives you a lot of information about their hand. 
they will tend to throw from a five card suit before a four card suit and and a three card suit before a four card suit so the first discard will often be from an that sort of suit in this case i think it isn't i think it's probably from a four card suit there's no relevance to us on this particular hand but it might be on another so after drawing the trumps there's no trumps left we will play the hearts we don't need to count the hearts because it's not relevant so again a tip avoid counting suits that have no relevance to your play because again you just wear your mental energy out so we don't care how the hearts are but then we're going to trump that heart And now the key plays, we don't try and guess the diamond by playing a diamond to the queen. We exit with a club. Mm -hmm. Again, we don't care who wins it. What do they have to do when they win a club, everybody? Right. Open up the diamonds. Well, they would either give you a rough and discard, discard. or open up the, or diamonds. Open up the diamonds. Now, if they yeah. give you a rough and discard, what must you do? Discard you discard the north, north, north hand. Yeah, don't the make south. the mistake of discarding from the south hand, otherwise you put yourself back in the position of having to guess the, mm. the, diamonds. the diamonds. And if they leave a diamond, don't make the mistake of flying in the queen. By playing small, you're going to force out the opposition's card. And now again, when they win the diamond, they're back in the exact same position of having to play a diamond or having to give you a rough hand. Discard. discard. Yeah. A rough and discard. Okay. Everybody happy? Just yeah. one yep. trick there, the trick before. If we can just then do that, uh, Rory, please. Notice that I, I play the three of diamonds routinely on these hands not just smallest one, just if they're watching the, your hand as the clearer, don't always play your smallest and they can sometimes misguess. It's not relevant here, but it's it's a good technique to have automatically play a random. And hand. the more experienced the player against your playing, the more likely it is that that technique will work, will do something for you when it's able to, because they will just presume that you're not good enough not to play your small card every opportunity does that make sense yes your job always is to make it easy for the person sitting opposite you and difficult for the two people sitting uh, against you yeah although it doesn't always work out that way as peter has played with me knows what one question people often ask me is what are your discards and there is four or five parts to a discard the First thing to remember is it's the card you can afford to throw. It's rarely a signal. It's the card you can afford to throw. It's a suit you want partner to look after. And after that, it sometimes is some sort of attitude signal saying, I'm interested in probably one of the other two suits that I haven't thrown. So you throw a card in the suit you're not interested in, but primarily it's a card you can afford to throw. So don't go overboard with discards having to mean something on every hand, because they often don't. Is that about right, Thomas, would you say? Absolutely. I mean, it happened It happened yesterday to me in the Quinn Cup, Peter. The Clara was playing trumps, and I just decided to play my trumps, the trumps I had a little bit peculiarly in case there was something he could think different about the hand, right? And I knew... We knew from the bidding that the clearer had a singleton heart and my partner had the ace. I'd supported hearts. And when he let a heart off the dummy, my partner thought that my signal had told him I had the heart. And what did he do? He played low, allowing him to win the singleton king. But the bidding had given him the information to know. I was just trying to do something a little bit funny to, to put off uh, the declarer, do you know? Mm -hmm. But but because I gave him a signal, he thought I must have the king of hearts and he played low. And then I didn't have the king of hearts, so they made 12 tricks rather than the 11. 
So that's exactly what Peter is saying. You, your first priority isn't that that the that the signal gives a dis uh, that the discard gives a signal. Your first priority is that the discard is you're able to do it. You know what I mean? Isn't that yes. right, Peter? Yep. Card you you can afford. Um, the one time it's attitude is if partner's running along the suit and he desperately needs to know what to switch to, and you're only going to have one discard, then that should be an attitude. Uh, there's very few times that attitude, attitude meaning encouraging or discouraging matters. Just a little aside. Do we have a nine, Tom? So, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number nine, please. I think we. I think you're where we need you to be, Peter. Okay, I'm not going too uh, too fast. So, am I in the uh, south seat? You're in the right seat, yeah. Okay. Now, normally with this hand, I would not be opening a spade. I would be opening a strong no trump, and the strong no trump people often have a five card major. So it's just something to watch out for. When you, you can open a strong no trump if you want. Do you play puppet statement then over one no trump over a strong no trump, Peter? Over the strong no trump, no, I would play over the statement. Okay, well, how, do, how how would your partner know about your five card major? If you you're don't. On, you don't, and it's it's really because five three fits are often played better in no trumps than in the major. All right, it's okay. only when the three card suit has a doubleton that you really want to be in the five three fit. And that's where all the top players make. That's a very in. good. Sorry, say that to me again, because that's a really good uh, bit of in advice. The five three fit, you yeah. often want to play no trumps, unless the three card support has a doubleton somewhere else, and then you can visualize making a rough with the three right. card. Right, right, yeah. Otherwise, very. it's safer to play in three no trump, which of course is one trick less. It's only nine tricks. Yeah. Very, so, very good. And you don't look for the five three fits when you open one the trump, really, although hmm. there is behind them. So if I have a doubleton opposite your one no trump, uh, how do I look for the five three fit then? You wouldn't. It's it's more of a case of in other auctions when there's five three fits that you would look for them. Peter, have you a strong no trump? Do you want me to open a week? No, no. Have you a strong no trump, or have you have you stronger than that? Oh, let's have a look. We are stronger than that. Very good. Okay, I good. I thought I had the wrong hand. I was getting no, no. So I was. I thought I had a, a few less than my hand. But his yeah. his point is still uh, valid. Okay. Now again, we should know what I'm going to bid over one spade. What am I going to bid? Two no, Two no Trump. Trump. Because it doesn't use up any or Big less space. space. It sets that I have four trumps. Now, again, the downside to my hand is what? Oh, three, three, three. It is, but I, I, you still have to do it, lads, because if my partner has a strong hand, if he's, a, if he's an unbalanced hand, mm -hmm. then my hand could be good for him. And if he's a balanced hand and he's stronger, I need to get that across now. Mm -hmm. Um, because I found my x rays, so I've got quite a good hand here, <laughs> and I'm immediately looking at the likelihood of a slam, but it could be more than that. Partners unlimited with two no trump, so it will be premature for me to put four no trump now. So I'm going to temporize with a three phase bid, which for us, when one spade could have been four, just shows five spades and. 15 plus, but probably not. If you had four spades, you would have been three no trumps. In. And if you're playing a strong no trump, it's the principle <laughs> of fast arrival. So I know he doesn't have a minimum hand with spades. He's now stronger than that. And I know he doesn't have shortness because if he'd shortness, what would he have bid over two no trump? Four spades. Four spades. No. No, he well, maybe it was better than minimum with shortness. What would he bid? Singleton. He'd bid the shortness, wouldn't he? Yeah. 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 
So on this hand, again, all I have is what I promised and I don't have a qubit. So what can I bid now to show that I'm minimum? Four spades. Four spades. Yeah. I don't need to qubit. I've already told them by bidding two no trump because if I had better than minimum, now I could qubit or bid three no trump. And now we might be interested in finding out a grand slam, mightn't we? Mm -hmm. What else does uh, two no trump show in terms of hands, Peter? What does it limit or what does it... Uh, uh... It's, unlimited. it's unlimited. No, but in terms of shape. It won't have a, about 10 to 12 in a singleton, because you would have shown the singleton. Very good. Very good. Yeah, everyone see that? The two no trump is generally a balanced sort of hand opposite the major. Some people don't always promise that, but I think classic Jacoby style, two no trump is always a balanced raise. Because if you've got if you've got a splinter, you can use your splinter bids. It could be too good to splinter is the other potential. That's why some people play it that it can have a, a single. So four spaces is the weakest bid that Thomas could make. He hasn't cubed. The cubers that he could have made. You might need to agree if they are a shortage or a card, an ace or king. There's, there's often a way of distinguishing. So there's a lot of stuff that goes on over the Jack and Junior Trump, but standard Jack. And Be Peter, why did you uh, choose the uh, to, to bid three spades instead of uh, Q bidding yourself? And then I go to three clubs and give That's a split. single term. Gave, gave, give your partner a chance to show uh, all four clubs. Rory, three clubs is a single term. Hmm. Three diamonds is a singleton. Three hearts is yeah. a singleton. I could have cubed four clubs, but that is actually, generally speaking, that five five four clubs. Showing a diamonds. second suit. Yes, would be five five. So I had Thanks. no choice. Thanks. Hi, Mrs. How are you? Um, there's I a lot more to Jack with than meets the eye. Upstairs, upstairs. I am. I am second this. Trying to get up here. <laughs> now go ahead, Peter. So I'm I'm still good enough to go on with a 19 count, despite Thomas saying that he's minimum and he's not even suitable for three no trumps, which would be minimum but some interest. But I'll so I'll still bid Blackwood and hope he puts down a little bit of shape, hopefully a four, four, three, two. Uh, he's, 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 he's going to be disappointed but he's well used to being disappointed with my hands I can tell you that for nothing so what's five clubs that one one key card is it yeah so <coughs> it's not so clear for me to bid a slam here but I think I'm going to because nine card fits you want to be in a slam with most of your 30 plus hands. With eight card fits, you really do need 31, 32 points. And no trumps, you need at least 32. But when you have nine card fits in a major, slam is often made on a lot, considerably less points. So I'm going to bid six spades. If I was to ask for the queen of spades, it wouldn't really happen. So I can picture hands when we haven't got the queen of spades. That, that, it's still a good six. So I'm going to bid six spades. <laughs> Notice my hand is so flat that there was no hope of a, a grand slam, so I didn't invest in anybody. Okay, passive lead. <laughs> Again, it's important to try and find safe leads against these contracts because you could often give the trick on a lead. So if we if we just uh, if we listen if we if we go back to what Peter's analysis of the types of hand that I might have had, if I had a doubleton heart, doubleton king of hearts, would slam be a good contract? Yeah. Yeah. If I had a fourth diamond, would slam be a good contract? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Would, wouldn't it? 
You yep. see what? I, but I have the worst possible. I I always give him the worst possible hand, by the way. But I have the worst possible hand for him, don't I? Yeah. It still has chances, though. What chance might it have straight away? Queen of Spades falling in one or two. Yeah. Round, rounds. Rounds. That's yeah. decent odds when you have nine of them, isn't it? It's not so good odds when you have only eight of them. But when you have nine of them, it's good odds. Well, we've also got what play as well, haven't we? In, in what other suit? In the eliminate. Uh, Very good. Very good. And we also know what have they led against us? The diamond, yeah. Which is... Well, I mean, we're looking at the ace, king, queen, jack, aren't we? Yes, we've mm -hmm. got everything in diamond. So they've led passive, haven't they? Mm -hmm. They haven't yep. led aggressive, have they? No. They also didn't lead what? Trump. If they three of them, what would they have likely have led? Three little ones. Oh, minimum ones, yes. They might have led a Trump, mightn't they? If they're three dead and Trumps. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so I'm 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 optimistic because Peter is one of the best players uh, on the on, in in the British Isles. Ex British Isles, you mind? I'll let now. So, looking at this hand, we're looking at our losers first, which potentially we have a spade loser, potentially a hard loser, and no losers in the minors. So, we're trying to either guess the spades correctly which could be to cast the king and place more to the jack. It could be to play ace-king. As a general rule, if the opponents have not been bidding and you have a nine-card fit missing the queen, play for the drop. So we're going to play for the drop here because there's no bidding, but there's a lot of truth in the fact that West hasn't led Trump, but as Thomas said, he might have done from three small. So... You could also decide to play west for queen to three spades and east for something ten. I don't think that's so likely. So, this thing to do is to, to win the diamond. And we'll play our spade. Now, there's some hands where it would be right to eliminate the miners before you guess the spade, but this isn't one of them. Looks like bad news here. The spades have not broken. So we fall back on the technique we've learned from the other two hands called an end play. And it's quite important here that we actually eliminate the clubs before the diamonds. The, the technique, in other words, is you eliminate your shorter hand suits first. Why would that be, everybody? Less chance of getting roughed. Very good. If, it get, if you eliminate the diamonds and the diamonds get roughed, what will they be able to get off lead with? Club. If you eliminate the clubs and then play the diamonds and they rough, they can't get off lead with that club. Very well done. Very well done. Excellent. Excellent. Don't really care how the clubs broke, other than they, they followed, which is good. And now we can play our diamonds. The options now are to play for someone to have Queen Jack Doubleton Heart, which isn't very likely. Or let's just play, let them in with their spade. Let them worry about what to do. And when they win the Queen of Spades, they're going to play the Jack of Hearts. Think back to trick one and what Thomas said about what the dog that didn't bark, what they didn't mm -hmm. do. They didn't lead the Queen of Hearts. And they might have. 
from Green Jack. So it's possible that West is being clever with Queen Jack and playing the Jack. But this hardly like so although it's not guaranteed this contract with the other two. We cross our fingers and toes. We put say a prayer to Saint Jude. Congratulate West if he's done something clever and played Jack from Queen Jack. Okay, so Rory, just go back to where you led your Jack of Hearts, please, and let's see if he changes the lead. Would would that change the outcome? And now we have to guess whether to put the nine, but it's far more likely that West has the jack. Do you see, if West plays the jack of hearts, you play East for the queen. If West plays a low heart, you play them for the... Jack. The jack. Mm -hmm. Now, again, it's not certain to work, but this is your best chance on this hand when the Trump suit breaks what way? Expanded. He won it. Mm -hmm. He won with the queen being offside, and it didn't didn't happen for you. But you always have to have a backup plan. And what did Peter do as soon as he knew he was losing the spade? He taught back to where? where the lead. Lead. the okay. opening lead. The why opening didn't they lead a club? <laughs> why didn't? Why did they lead a diamond when we had ace king queen jack of diamonds in the suit? Why didn't they lead a heart? It's much more likely that the heart suit is now. <clears throat> Split rather than in the one hand. hand. Okay. So he won't waste any time when he wins the nine of hearts, will he? Yeah. No. But he's, he's, he's dropped out of the BBO. Well, uh, invite him back in there. Welcome back in. Where are we? There we are. Hello, everybody. Hi, Thomas. Peter, are you there? Peter Goodman? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, are you yeah we, we lost you for a second. Not in BBO. Okay, you can, you can stop sharing that screen for a yeah. second there. Oh, in general today, I don't know if you want me to do a summary, Thomas, or are you going to... Yeah, absolutely. No, but I'd be delighted, Peter. So what we basically learned is that it's so important to think as soon as dummy goes down. And then don't think on every, every card. You should have another think when the first unusual thing has happened. The first time the opponents have gained the lead and have switched, you have another thing. Probably about three times in a hand you should have a serious think of a minute or so but otherwise you should try and play in tempo to save your energy because it's not chess there's no perfect solutions to any hand it's just your opinion that matters and the more you play the more your opinion becomes so important and you, you get you get better uh, we, we then moved on to to trump to trump management and when you draw trumps i think we covered that and we had these elimination plays where we eliminate your shorter suit first and then threw them in. And we also talked a lot about Jacobi, judgment of a Jacobi. It's, it's an exchange of information and it's very important that the right hand takes control. Generally it's the big hand. The hand that's bigger than it might have been is the one that will take control. But bail out quickly. When you have misfits in Jacobi, don't get yourself to the five level. Bad breaks can destroy it. Uh, we just talked about general other things in defence and leads and I think that was all we did, wasn't it, Thomas? And pretty much, pretty much. Has anybody any questions? A very quiet crowd tonight. Very Aren't quiet just, crowd yeah. tonight. <laughs> if if you play Jacoby, no yeah. Trump, um, that means you can't then play the ordinary response of two no. Well, Trump. what is the ordinary response to two no Trump? 
usually it means you don't have um, four of a your fit, partners. Absolutely. And it normally means you have how many points? 11, 11 or 12. Well, then you can just bid your suit, whatever suit you have, or a three card minor, and rebid two no trump at your next opportunity. Next bid, yeah. Does that make sense? <clears throat> so but you could... you're dead right. If you if you play Jacoby two no trump, you then have to think about what you're going to do with that hand that used to be the Jacoby two no trump. Do you see? Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. It used to be the two no Trump response, yeah. But it's it's actually Jacoby Jacoby or Jacoby two no Trump is, I mean, it's vital for slam bidding. It's vital for grand slam bidding because it enables you to show your hand earlier in the auction and the fit at a lower level. It then invites opener to continue that expression of interest or not, as we saw with the weak hand over two no Trump. What did Peter bid? He four, just spades. four spades with the good yeah. hand with the good hand with no shape what did he bid three, no spades. Three, spades. Three, spades. Oh, three spades with with the singleton what did he bid and a good hand the, 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 the singleton. singleton and i was then able to continue the expression mm. i had by what i did whether i q bid or whether i bid three no trump or whether i bid four of the trump suit and that didn't mean peter had to back off it just meant we we now lowered our aspirations from a grand slam to a small uh, slam yeah to a small slam do you see that and of course what normally happens Peter, when you, the higher the level, your level of experience, you don't get this opportunity because normally they come in and they compete and they they try they make it much more difficult. Yeah. But if you get a free run at it, you should then be able to bid your hands to the par. And it's it, it always amazes me how many people have no agreements about anything moving forward. I mean, the, one of the best agreements Peter spoke about there was the principle of fast arrival. Well, fast arrival that in a game forcing auction is phenomenal if i could ask peter a question one spade pass two clubs pass three spades playing two over one game forcing peter what would you play that as it's a very good suit single uh, a one loser suit playable opposite a singleton or a void almost playable opposite singleton definitely yes when you know what i mean and if I've got if I've got one honor in my hand, that's going to fill even even if no matter what the honor is, it's going to fill his hand out, his suit out. Now, you wouldn't have that agreement playing standard. Oh, no, he would because the three spade bid would simply be saying I have enough points for game and I have a six card. Spade suit. Yeah. It wouldn't be saying the quality of the suit. And, and knowing this earlier in the auction gives one person or the other. The other thing about it is it has to be like a baton changing hands. Also, you might have noticed that jacks become worthless. When Jackie comes into play, you're really looking at ace, king, queens as the good cards. And jack, unless it's backed by a king, queen, they really aren't worth the full point. They're only worth half a point. I am. So Jack's start to Did you enjoy it? Okay. Great. Any I other was, questions? Uh, yeah, Thomas. Uh, am I correct in believing that oh, some people no. play, play Jacoby with oh. just the invitational values of ten points? Well, that's opinion? not. That's it's not Jacoby. But yes, right. there there is there are people who play one major two no trump as a limit raise or a stronger hand sixteen plus or something like that. Some people play it as just ten plus. And a fit, but again, whatever way you play it, you have to go through the continuations and what the hands show. Okay. It's 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 not, uh, you know, it's not by magic uh, that the top players in the in the world get to where they are. They spend hours upon hours discussing their system, having their notes tidied up, be, knowing what to do in the percentages that are tiny because they're they're what makes the difference of the match i don't know peter uh, whether you were like me up late all last week watching the semi-final and the quarterfinals and the finals of the soloway in the it's, north america it's 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 not a big system you need you only need 20 30 pages it's reusable agreements try and use the same bit over and over again in different situations and that makes life a lot easier 
all about okay. saving your energy and enjoying the game. We're playing for fun, so we don't want to spend 30 minutes on one hand, which I've seen that some people do. Torture. They torture us. They do. <laughs> I'd never do that, Peter. Would I spend 30 minutes on one hand? No, no, you're generally over in about four minutes. <laughs> and then on the fifth minute, you start think thinking. Yes, when the hand's finished, I start trying to think because then I have to defend. <laughs> oh, well. Thanks, everyone. Listen, well, yeah, like, hope, thank you uh, very much. Thank you very much. Hope very you interested. all enjoyed that, uh, guys. Yeah. Thanks very much, Tomas. Uh, uh, Peter. No trouble. Peter, absolutely fantastic. Well done. Uh, really enjoyed mm -hmm. that. If you, uh, this is going to go up on our YouTube channel. So if you do uh, want to see it again uh, on YouTube, please like and subscribe if you can, because that helps. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Exactly. Yeah. Good. And uh, we, we'll be having another of these uh, soon, and I'll let you know about it. But thanks very much. Great. Really, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.